Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, I'm going to be telling you how to complete Solomon Richards movie prop treasure hunt, which was just added in the Los Santos summer special DLC update. So when you guys sign into Grand Theft Auto Online today, you're going to get this text message from Solomon Richards, who Michael works with during single player. It says, this is Mr. Richards. Yes, the Mr. Richards. There's been a robbery at my studio. My lawyers are busy incentivizing the police, but let's face it, the LSPD couldn't find a hole in a donut. Besides, a case like this requires a personal touch. I hear you're the one to call. Come to my studio and take a look. So obviously, once you get that text message, you're going to want to go to Solomon Richards Studios, which can be found with the giant glowing S on the map. It's very easy to find. And obviously, if you guys know where Richard Majestic Studio is, that is where you have to go. And when you enter his studio for the first time, you will then get another text message from Solomon. And you will also see that the police are there and that there are a bunch of props like do not cross barricades. It looks like they're trying to solve a crime. There's a bunch of like FIB placards where missing props would be. And you eventually find out that there are 10 props that you need to find and collect for Solomon Richards. And he ends up sending you this text. He says, you see, all of my priceless collector's pieces gone. Quite honestly, this city's turned into a you-know-what heap. It used to be fun being rich. Look, find the pieces, return them to the studio, and you'll find that I know how to look after my friends. May you consider that an incentive. And it says in the top left, recover the stolen movie props to earn cash and RP and find and return them all to unlock a bonus reward. And so that's what we have to do. And there are 10 of these movie props in total. And I'll be showing you how to find each and every one of them today. So the first one, and this can be done in no particular order, is by far the easiest to find. It's located right outside of Solomon Richards Studios. So literally the second you turn left, you're going to walk towards these like planted palm trees and you will find a movie reel. And all you have to do is walk up to it and then a prompt will appear on the screen saying return the movie prop to Solomon Richards at the glowing yellow S. And so once you've done that, you just return. And once you walk back inside, it says prop returned. And then it says one of 10 movie props returned. And then it ends up getting you $10,000 and a bonus amount of RP as well. So as you guys saw, they're pretty simple. And the rest of the locations are just as easy to find. And that's basically all you have to do. So you don't have to find them in any particular order. This is the order that I ended up going in. The next location is actually located in the back room of the Vanilla Unicorn Club. Now, this one's a little tricky to get to because the only way you can get to this location is if you actually shoot your way inside because typically that room is locked. So that's exactly what you have to do. You just have to cause a little bit of a ruckus, end up going towards the back. And in the very back room on the computer, you're going to find this like trophy. I don't know what it is, uh, but you'll find the trophy. And then that is the prop that you have to return back to Solomon Richards. Now I should say this because this would have saved me a lot of time. You do not have to return the props to Solomon Richards one by one. You can do them uh, like in a lump sum. Like if you collect all of them and bring them back to him, uh, it doesn't matter. Or you can do them one at a time. There's no limit on how you get them back to his studio. And again, each time you're going to get $10,000, a little bit of RP. So that's the second location. The third location is located in the Fort Zancudo like military tower. It's like the one that you can go inside. And I almost missed this one at first, but basically it's this like movie director clip thingy. It's the thing that they like snap before like a scene starts. So you'll find that located right next to the security monitors. So that is the third prop that you have to find for Solomon Richards. The fourth prop that you have to find is located inside the Diamond Casino and Resort. It's going to be in the restrooms across from Agatha Baker's office. So you guys know Agatha Baker has the office on the left side, the restrooms are on the right, and it's going to be on one of like the urinals or the stalls, and it looks like it's this Indian headdress or something like that. So that's the fourth one right there. Pretty easy to find. Again, the hardest part about this is having to walk all the way back to the casino and then walk all the way back to the front. So that's really the toughest part 
of finding that one. The fifth one today is going to be located on like the Salvation Mountain. It's the alien like hill in Sandy Shores. Super easy to find. It's located at the very top. It is the headpiece of an alien suit, which is kind of ironic because you'll figure out what happens at the very end. So that right there is the fifth piece. The sixth piece is located at this spot right here in the Grand Sonora Desert. It's the only one that really doesn't have like an iconic location, so I will show it on the map for you guys right here. For me, it was located right next to my biker clubhouse, which made it kind of convenient. And you're basically just going to go on the porch, and on the porch, you are going to find that there is a like mummy headdress or something like that, or like a mummy head, whatever it is. That's the sixth prop. And then obviously return that to Solomon Richards. And the seventh prop is located at the Altruist Camp. And it's like this big head. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Be careful when arriving at the Altruist Camp because they will be very fussy with you. And they'll actually start shooting at you. Luckily, I was on an oppressor, so I was able to take them out pretty easily. And that right there is the seventh and final prop that has a confirmed location. Now, the final three props are a little bit tricky. You actually have to find them randomly throughout the world, which makes things a little bit difficult. It would have been nice if you could have just been able to go to every single location, find them, and then get the reward. So this right here is going to be the hardest part. Now, the footage you're about to see comes from a user GTA network, so thanks to them for posting this. This is what it looks like once you find one of these random vans. That's what they are. It's very similar to like how you found Packy for the Diamond Casino heist. You have to find like this blue blip on the map and you have to shoot out the driver of the van and then you have to end up delivering the van, which is going to have one of the movie props in the back, to Solomon's office. So you'll obviously have to get the van, which is the trickiest part, lose the cops, and then the prompt on the screen will tell you to deliver it back to Solomon's office. And you actually have to do that three times. And I wish I could tell you where these locations pop up, at what time of day. They all seem to be random. So what you want to do is really focus on your mini-map here. Because when you see those blue dots, you know that that's going to help you complete Solomon Richard's quest and his treasure hunt. And then, once you have done all of that you finally get your reward for collecting all 10 parts. And this footage right here is coming from a user Game Clan, so big thanks to them. And once you get all 10 movie parts, you'll arrive in Solomon's office. The police barricades will be gone. You will have the opportunity to open a mysterious box and you will be given your reward, which is the Space Interloper outfit, which is unlocked and added to your wardrobe. And your Maze Bank account is also credited with $50,000. So how cool is that? By completing this secret treasure hunt, you end up getting an alien outfit that no one else is going to have. They look like the aliens from single player. Now, after this happens, not only will you lose access to Solomon's office because you've completed the treasure hunt, you will also get, like I said, an additional $50,000, which brings your grand total to $150,000 by collecting all 10 parts and the final reward. And other than that, that is pretty much it. You end up getting a text message from Solomon who says, everything back where it belongs. Well done, kid. You'll go far in this town. Head into my office. I've left you a little token of my appreciation. Something money can't buy. You're welcome in advance. So it looks like Solomon was able to get us this super secret movie alien suit which is just really awesome. But that right there is how you complete Solomon Richard's movie set part treasure hunt in Grand Theft Auto Online. I will say of the treasure hunts that Rockstar have added into the game recently, this one definitely seems to be a bit on the easier side once you know where the locations are. Again, the hardest part is going to be getting lucky and finding uh, those random encounters that will give you the final three parts. But once you get that, the reward is quite nice and you're gonna have an outfit that no one else in the game will be able to get. So anyways, that is all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Have you already completed the treasure hunt from Solomon Richards? Are you working on it right now? Or are you trying to find the random encounters? Let me know how far along you guys are in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. 
If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.